Grandma has been fighting for her rights. Fighting for her rights, her daughter's rights, her granddaughter's rights. Grandma. Did you see Grandma on the one o'clock news when she was protesting outside Parliament on the press green underneath the mobile studios when she was clearly there? No, you did not. <laughs> When Grandma went to the DWP office at Caxton House in London, there were police vans already waiting. They knew the protest was coming, that's how important it was. So why didn't you see her on the news? And when there was a three hour blockage of the doors, why didn't you see her then? Ask yourself the question. have come from all over the country to represent 1950s women and the injustice that has been happening to us all. Yay! Well done. Go out, girls. Yay! <laughs> Hi there again folks, it's Dina here, the Persistent Pensioner and as you gather we're starting to arrive at Media City and Linda Wyatt here is the very brave lady and determined lady who has brought this rally about for all 1950s women across whatever group that wants to be here and support their sisters in the fight for our pensions. And so first of all, uh, Linda, I just want to ask you, what made you feel so passionately that you had to organise this rally here today. It's all on your own bat to start with and everybody's just got on board with it, haven't they? Yeah, I, I have been overwhelmed actually, yeah. um, but I think the turnout that we can see already, it shows the strength of feeling that we're absolutely, we're fed up and being ignored. Yeah. This has been going on now for so long. Uh, you know, these, these ladies who have died with, with no pensions and these people who are living in poverty, you're literally having to sell their own homes, go to food banks. Um, it's, I feel like we've gone back a hundred years to draconian times. Why should we have to be dependent on, on anybody financially? We've worked all our lives and we should be able to have our pensions in our own right now and, and live it with some dignity. Yeah, yeah. In terms of your choice here, Media City, I can tell you why I came here for me. And because I was at Westminster protesting and I watched the cameramen film the back of us and then show nothing on the news but pass us off as yeah. Brexit protesters uh, by using the footage of us who outnumbered the Brexit and we saw nothing of ourselves. We saw false footage that was clearly lying to the public. Yeah, and they'd used the, the footage of the back of us. That's what made me come here, particularly for this today. So what is it that's made you feel that you want to come and protest in, outside the ITV, the BBC studios? I think this is such an iconic city. It's the home of the, the suffragette movement. And we are so fed up with the media ignoring us. And the thought process was, if the media won't come to us, we're going to go to the media and we're going to let them know in the BBC, in ITV, that we're fed up, we're here, we're not going anywhere. 
and we will deliver our letters to the BBC of complaint of the lack of coverage and Manchester is just a, a, a beautiful city, it's, a, it's the home of the suffragettes and we are the modern day suffragettes. Okay, it's looking like the BBC doesn't want to watch because they've drawn the blinds on us. So maybe we should make some more noise, girls, don't you think? When women came from all across the UK down to London for Remember, Remember on November the 5th, they lined the railings of Parliament from Big Ben right the way round to as far as those railings run. After a minute's silence, they tied onto the railings the suffragette ribbons we had brought in suffragette colours and with ribbons saying in loving memory and on those ribbons we wrote the names of the many many women that we knew had died fighting for their pensions alongside us at that day there was a round from the ons figures 80,000 1950s women that had already been lost between the age of 60 and 66. Two years later, that was well in excess of over 120,000 women lost. Within two hours of us finishing the protest, they came out and they cut down the memorial ribbons and they threw them in the trash. This is how this government treats its hard-working women and how they will treat their children and their grandchildren if we do not stand up for what is right and just now. We need decent MPs to stand up and call out this government on its refusal to acknowledge the injustice and to give compensation and relief to these women that have fought for over seven years now. Grandma has brought the traffic to a standstill on Parliament Square on numerous occasions. Why haven't you seen that? Do you think it could be a media blackout? <laughs> The reasons the justices have given is oh, the sex discrimination. Yeah. They've said that the new pension ages correct an um, historic wrong against men who have suffered discrimination for having to retire later. On the lack of notice point, they say the statute laid down by Parliament changing pension ages doesn't include provisions for certain amounts of notice of particular kinds and therefore whatever notice was or wasn't given it doesn't change the fact that the law has changed and that's what Parliament has said. So those seem to be the, the two main points. When Grandma brought the budget to a standstill from the public gallery and interrupted it shouting shame on you receiving a standing ovation from the Labour side of Parliament you actually got to see it because it was on live TV. No one could stop it being seen. Well done, Grandma. We've just been kicked out of um, the public gallery, screaming and shouting and saying, shame on you. The whole of the Labour Party stood up 
and Cloudus got their phones out and started videoing. So it almost probably will be all over social media very, very soon. I think we've made our point, we've upped the ante and we need business. We have been fighting for seven years and now we wait on the Ombudsman and inevitably the government. And while we wait, our sisters are dying. So when you ask Grandma where she has been, listen hard to her answer. Respect her strength, respect her fight for justice. Because when Grandma has been out protesting, when she would rather be at home with you, something is very wrong.